Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Ethic. This is Johnny. In this video, I'm going to continue my Pandas lab. I'm going to show you some tools how to collect in the target information. There are two major ways, active or passive information gathering. The big difference is if you need to build the active connection from your Pandas machine to remote target. In most of countries, it is not allowed to do this kind of uh, active scanning or active information gathering without getting that permission. Keep that in mind. Let's start it. What kind of information we are going to collect? Here is a list. IP address, company address, email address, domain information, phone, staff, port, applications, operation systems, and other sensitive information. All those informations can be useful when you're doing your penetration testing. We may not be able to collect all of them. In this video, I'm going to show you some tools to gather in some information as much as we can. Let's start with passive information gathering tools. First tool I want to talk about is Shodan. Basically, Shodan is like a Google, it's a search engine, but uh, Shodan mostly focuses on the devices connecting to the internet. It's like a inventory database. They crawl in the internet, find out the devices connecting to internet, and index them, and save it into their database so you can search, and then you can find out the information on the target. Here is the website. Um, I strongly suggest that you create an account because that will give you more information when you log in. What we're going to search we can try to, there's some grammars you need to follow when you're doing a short and search, but you can easily start with a device type. For example, it's like a webcam. You can find out globally the webcam which is directly connected to the internet. As we can see, there's some more than 10,000 devices found it. Now we couldn't open it. We probably need to try multiple of them to see. Here is a good one. It's public opened. There's no password required. It looks like it's at night. In the daytime, you can see more, but uh, since it's at night, we only see one dot, one white dot layer. There are multiple pictures captured before. So that is how powerful from Shadon they index the whole internet devices and find out as much as they can identify it and then put into their database and also give you the ability to search the information out and they already find out the IP address, the open the port and the protocol they're running and the device type as well. We also can use a multiple keyword to based on city, country, geography, or host name, product name, operating system, port number, and the time frame, even ISP, and the system version to narrow down the target to the one we are looking for. 
this video is not gonna give you full instruction how to use shutdown it just gave you an idea the tool and how it powerful it can be as we presented here then you can go beyond that to do your practice this is a great tool to use when you are doing penetration testing the next passive method i'm going to talk about is who is when we get our target to do penetration testing usually they give you a domain or website and uh, then you can use tool called who is from carry domain find out um, we can use my test domain to find out the information so this is 51sec1.u.org i'm not disclosing the address or those registration information so you can find only limited information but for lots of other websites for example microsoftmsn.com um, you can find out the company address you can find out their dns server even phone number fax number and email address so there's lots of information public available for you already if they didn't hide it from public so when you register your domain you have a way to hide your uh, dns registration information you also can use google to search who is and then you should be able to find out the online tools to do who is query let's uh, try from here this is icnn website you can put msn.com here then you probably find a lot of similar things less or more but then um, those public information is available more website to search and see using those who is look up to find out the information oh this one is pretty good similar like what we got from the command line um, but in a web browser much easy to use the third tool actually is very popular one google search engine and uh, it has been listed as number 26 in a security tool list so i can show you some basic skills how to search in a google a page there's a lot of operator and uh, keyword you can type in you can use in define to find the uh, means you can find the specific site with a specific keyword and then you can find some links from specific word if you can find out also if the url have a, some specific word so to combine all those keywords together you can very easily to go into find out some website which you are targeting to for example here is the example you can search in msm.com it's just an example to see if you can find out any admin page in title any user page password page account page so you can you may not find anything uh, there but this is once you know your target then you can use google to search if there's any page has those keywords in their title or in their url and you also can find out if there's any page is doing uploading which is using php asp or jsp those program language so for example we are trying to find out if there's uploading page which is using 
PHP. After we know they're using PHP and uploading component, and then we can target in this to get them trying to find out the vulnerability and then to exploit to it. There's some more things you can do. Also, you can try to see if they are hiding something from the search engine to index to it. So for example, you can find out the MSN as a robots.txt file, which telling those bot they don't allow them to go into health page to search. So in this way, you can know which page they are hiding. Maybe you can find out a specific admin page or some backend page from here. Another interesting combination for those Google search keyword is you can search if, if there's a public folder available for you to see if there's any SQL language there. So you can see uh, if they have backup script or what kind, maybe they embedded username, password account into those script. For example, we can go to um, this folder, which is index of user slash SQL, and there's a couple of SQL script here, and there's a restore storage. You can download that and see what they are doing, and then maybe you can find out some valuable information from there. So that's why Google became so popular, named number 26 popular security tools in the list. The last tools I want to introduce is subdomain scanning tools. If you go to your carry, you can see there's a folder, program folder called information gathering. So there's one tool called a Matico. We have community edition for it. So this Meltgo CE community edition is free to use. You can start it. Accept the license. We need to register account for that. I just logged in using my credential. Next, we can install transforms. Next. We can open an app brand graph and uh, we can play around it. It's important to search the subdomain information, the reason why is usually it's getting very harder to find out the vulnerability from the main domain. But if you can find out the subdomains, they may have a weakness, and then you can get in closer by penetration to one of the subdomains. Matico is a very powerful tool. I test a commercial version, also um, community version. Um, and if you go to home page, you will see there's a free uh, transforms we can use. And also there's some probably you need to pay, you need to pay the pros. But for our purpose, we're going to just use uh, free transforms to gather in domain information. What we're going to do is going to start a new graph, start a new search. You can type a domain here to search. Um, this, uh, as you can see here, you can search, you can get any those information from devices, 
from the company organization, DNS name, IMX record, and as record URL, all, all kinds of information is very powerful. Um, for this purpose, we're gonna just do domain and just um, type domain. And then drag, drag the domain you found from this column to the new graph diagram. So by default, it is a pateva.com. It's been populated here. Just change it to the target you are trying to do. And then you can right click the icon. And it's all transforms available to us. So that's a free community additions available. If you get a commercial version, you get more, but if you cannot, do all of them. Um, so that's okay. I can run over those time. So you can see how much information, how much subdomains we can get only from here. But that's, uh, that's because it is, is really MSN is really big, big uh, domains. So that's why we have so many informations. And uh, after you got those uh, subdomains, you can open it to see uh, if you can visit it. You also can try to open it in your browser. Um, after that, it's time to see some domains, msn.ag, msn.ac, msn.b. So this can list all domains, subdomains under this top domain msn.com. We also can use some online website to do this domain search. For example, we can start with um, security trails. You can type the domain here and then it's also gonna give us lots of um, domain information, DNS record here, NS record, C name. Other thing you can do also, we can just try using Google, using site, Amazon.com, then we can try and find out other subdomains, web pages as well. This is another way you can find it. Another way you can search as well using a certificate. So we can find out any certificate uh, used by msm.com and then that may show some subdomains in those certificate. Let's see what we can find from here. Check them out. So there's lots of ways, as I said, you can find out the subdomain and then you can target in those subdomain if you couldn't find anything from the main domains. That's pretty much everything I want to show you today regarding the information gathering, which is only for the passive part. Uh, next video, we're going to talk about the active information gathering. See you in next video. Thank you.